So I'm Bruce Cameron. I'm the director of the System Architecture Group here at MIT. Um, my background uh, from a training perspective, I'm an aerospace engineer. Uh, I did my PhD here at MIT in engineering systems. Uh, and I've been here for the last 17 years, if you can believe that. So the big idea of system architecture is we believe that there's some foundational series of decisions that we make out of the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of decisions on a big program. There's some subset that are more impactful than others. And one way to think about that is front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive car. These are significantly different programs. If you were to run halfway down a program with a front wheel drive car and suddenly decide, I want to change to a rear wheel drive car, the gearbox has to change, the drive line has to change, the rear suspension has to change. These are very separate designs and we call those architecture. Sometimes people call those dominant designs. This is a lot of our work in the field of system architecture and here in my group, system architecture group. Um, we've looked at that from commercial aircraft. You know, what, what is it that could break the dominant design today? You know, when you fly New York to Boston, Boston to Munich, if you're flying an Airbus, if you're flying a Boeing, to the untrained eye, they look almost exactly the same. This is a dominant design, two wings, uh, horizontal tail, engines under the wings, etc. cetera. Um, we've done a bunch of research trying to think about what is it that could break this architecture? When would we go to change? Uh, and one fascinating exploration of that is eVTOL. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but the um, air taxis, what if we could have electric air taxis going from, for example, downtown Manhattan out to, um, out to JFK Airport. There's a whole variety of different designs under consideration and the, the architecture has not solidified in that, uh, in, that, in that field. So our interest from our research perspective is on the one hand trying to understand where and how companies make decisions that are architectural in nature uh, and then trying to figure out how we sort these decisions to the front end. The big premise is essentially if I can figure out what are those architectural decisions like front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive, um, it's worth spending more time on them. It's worth running trades at a, at a high level before we get into them given that they're so impactful. And so a lot of the work that we've done has been developing methods and analyses and historical case studies trying to understand how companies made these decisions. One of the prominent examples for this is how did, you know, how did the U.S. space program decide that they were going to break the spacecraft into two and go down to the moon's surface without their ride home? Uh, you know, command and service module stays in space, lunar module goes down to the surface. That's a huge risk that they took, and yet that was really a big piece of the success that they had with this mission. How did they make that decision? That's, that's a big piece of our work.